Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you everything I got for Christmas this year. Um, and my bag of the day, which is my trusty Damier Speedy 30, which I've had for, oh my gosh, it's going to be 15 years next year that I've had this workhorse of a bag. Uh, the reason I'm carrying this, even though I'm not really going anywhere, is because our weather has been so bad the last week. It's been snowing and it's been 23 degrees and our street is just still covered with snow. I'm looking out there right now and uh, the plow usually does not make it down our street because I live in a part of the country where snow removal is not something people are really used to doing, even though they should be, because it usually snows once or twice a year. And we have lots of hills, which makes it pretty dangerous. So it started snowing the day after Christmas, and then it was like 18 degrees Fahrenheit. So for those of you who use the metric system, that's below zero, um, well below zero. So. We've been kind of stuck in our house, just hanging out. My husband and I did make it to the grocery store a couple of times once the roads were, the main roads were plowed and sanded and maybe even salted. And I did go and get my booster on Tuesday. I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. And so I got my booster, definitely did not feel like filming that day or the day after. I was pretty much out of it for about 24 to 36 hours. And now I'm totally fine again. And so I decided today, it's the last day of the year. Of course, this is going up on New Year's Day. So happy New Year, everybody. Um, I decided I really should get something filmed for my Christmas video before Christmas is so far in the rearview mirror that everyone's kind of forgotten about it. So um, I hope you had a really great Christmas. Ours was really nice, really low key. We did end up going to a... Uh, relatives home here in town and where there were quite a few people so everybody uh, took a uh, COVID test before we went to gather together and everyone was negative which was awesome it really gave us all peace of mind when going to gather indoors with a bunch of people so that was nice we did the secret Santa that I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs and I wanted to share one of the things I got from my secret Santa, which is my favorite candy. <laughs> it's Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Uh, yes, it has been opened. I haven't had that many. I'm trying to, you know, make them last as long as I can. Um, I absolutely love these. <laughs> they are definitely one of my favorite treats and this was on my little list and so somebody got me one of these all right so let's get into what I got from my family and from Santa for Christmas this year I will start with um, wonderful gifts from my daughters this one was from my youngest daughter it is the cutest little mug I think it's only six or eight ounces it's so adorable it says look on the bright side and I really love it and what made it even more perfect is one of the gifts that I got for our family was a Nespresso Virtuo uh, machine I finally got one I've always wanted an espresso machine and I always thought oh an espresso machine is like $500 um, but I found a really good sale online for the Virtuo and I ordered it and so I made my first uh, Nespresso drink and put it in this little mug and it's just perfect so I love that uh, another gift from my daughters and husband is this beautiful necklace I don't know if I'm gonna be able to to get close enough to show you yeah there it is it is a sterling silver catrafoil uh, pendant with a filigree and little crystals on it and it's actually reversible. You can actually flip it around so that it's all like white like that. But this is brown crystals. And I, this was on a wish list 
that I had at a local jewelry store uh, here in town where I've been shopping for like the last 15 years. It's a really special jewelry store. And I know everyone who works there and I know the owner. And uh, I put together a wish list. I also had these earrings on my wish list that are in the same collection. But once I saw them together, I decided I really like this clover catrafoil shape. And so I talked to the manager and she's going to exchange these ones for the earrings that match the pendant. So that won't happen until next month, but that was a really special gift. And I was really surprised because I thought they would probably pick out one thing from my wish list and they picked out two. So that was really sweet. Okay. Um, the next thing on my list I'm going to show you is this Pro Retinol Body Butter from Josie Marin. Is that the right side? Yeah, it is. <laughs> there it is. Um, this is awesome. This is just a really luxurious body lotion cream that I got from Ulta. And I did wrap it and put it under the tree. <laughs> but this is awesome. I've already used it a little bit. I put this on right after a shower when my skin is still a little bit damp which helps to lock in the moisture and it's just a really wonderful unscented body cream which actually um dr dre recommended that in a couple of her videos and she usually doesn't recommend stuff like that but this one she said just feels really really nice because usually she'll go for any kind of like drugstore body lotion will do the trick from CeraVe or even Vaseline. Um, not Vaseline, but the, the brand Vaseline has a body lotion too that she says is perfectly fine for moisturization. But she said if you wanted to treat yourself um, to pick this one up. And so I did. And it's really awesome. The next gift was from my husband. This was on my wish list at Nordstrom. And these are just joggers they're just jogger pants or lounge pants and they are from this let's see if i can get this into the shot they're from this brand and i'll try to focus on that tag because i don't know if i can say that but i will put up a picture of what they look like on a person but because they just look like you know <laughs> jogger pants but they're so incredibly soft i'll also try to link them down below if they're still available they are just like like butter. They're so soft and they're so comfortable. And my new favorite joggers. I usually wear pants like this when I just get up in the morning or before I go, you know, to bed at night. I'll just put these on just to lounge around in. Or if it's a day when I'm home all day long, like Christmas Day, I'll just wear these all day long. And they're just just incredibly comfortable. And they have pockets, which is nice. So that was from my husband. Thank you. The next few gifts were from Santa Claus. And here is the first one. This is from Aspinall of London. The, a newer brand to me that I've been trying out. Um, not really well known in the US, but they are based in England and they ship really quickly to the States. This is the London, the small London case in burgundy pebbled leather. It is really, really nice. It's got a blue fabric interior and it's just a nice little cosmetic case that is pretty wide for using in a handbag. So my plan is to use it when we travel. Um, we only have one trip planned for next year so far, or I guess this year, because this is going up in 2022. In April, we're gonna go to San Diego. So I'm gonna bring this with me and uh, to put in all of my skincare cosmetics that I want to bring with me on my trip. And I think it'll be just perfect for that. I really love the quality of this piece. I will say that if there's any downside to it, it is the fact that I noticed these little corners are these folded. They're folded and they're very pointy, which means that they will show wear pretty quickly. But um, I think it should be okay, especially because it's not like a treated leather like metallic which would rub off really quickly so we'll see how this does uh over time after you know being used going on a trip but it is really pretty 
Okay, the next three items are the luxury gifts that I got for myself because, you know, who knows better what I want than me. And some of these I actually got way back in the very beginning of November. And I was very good. I left them in their box after making sure that they were what I wanted because they did come from Fashion File. Um, I put them in their box and I hid them away under the bed and I didn't use them or touch them until Christmas. <laughs> so I was very good. I even wrapped them. Two of them are my very first uh, pieces from Chanel. Um, in the past, the only Chanel I've ever purchased has been cosmetics, um, like nail polish, um, you know, eyeshadow, stuff like that. Uh, from the beauty line, I've never purchased any Chanel bags, SLGs, costume jewelry, anything. So this is my very first. And I didn't think I ever would. I really thought that that was not for me. And I still feel that way about the bags. Um, there is a almost no chance I will ever have a Chanel handbag unless I magically stumble upon a vintage one that's in my price range, which is, you know, not $4,000. So yeah, but I am really happy with the pieces that I found on Fashion File. The first one is the small O case or small cosmetics case. Let's see if I can show it to you here. It is the caviar leather in navy blue with silver hardware. This was on Fashion File in excellent condition, which is what I would describe it as. I am so excited because for me, this is the perfect size for my purse for holding papers and cards, miscellaneous um, flat items that are larger than a credit card. And so I would not use this for cosmetics or really anything except for all the different papers that I carry. So we've got my vaccination cards, we've got some random coupons, we've got a bunch of different cards. So for me this is like perfect and so I'm so excited to finally have something like this and it feels so nice and the color is so beautiful and perfect. This is just right for me and I was so glad when I saw it on Fashion File and I put it on reserve and then I put it under my bed and then I wrapped it up in Christmas paper last week, put it under the tree and I'm so glad that I finally get to have it. Um, and that was only the first of my Chanel purchases from Fashion File in November. I also decided <laughs> that I needed a wallet to go with it, though they don't match, but that's okay. This is the flap card holder. Let's see if I can show you close up what it looks like. There we go. And it is in the iridescent beige calfskin with champagne gold hardware. There's still a sticker on here that I have not peeled off yet. I'm sure I will do that before I use this. Just opened it on Christmas. I did look at it when it arrived to make sure that it was, you know, as described in the listing and it was. This is my first <laughs> really special Chanel wallet. It is incredibly soft. I mean, I can see why people fall in love with this material. Though I can't really imagine um, carrying a handbag made out of this. It's It would scare me so much having this very, very soft, delicate, treated leather, um, you know, just in my hand and knocking against things. I don't know if I would be comfortable with that. But it is a very, very beautiful little wallet, and I do plan to use it. I will take good care of it, and I will not carry it year-round. But I'm excited to use it as a wallet from time to time and just feel very special. It's really pretty. And uh, 
Yeah, I, I love this. I don't know if I would, even if I could afford it, I don't know if I would want to carry a bag like this because it, it just seems like it would just be a little bit too delicate for me. But yeah, there it is. I now have two things from Chanel. <laughs> I can't believe it. I really can't, but I'm happy with that. I've looked around and I don't even think there's really anything else from Chanel um, in the SLGs that I would even want. And I already have too many SLGs, so that's going to be it for me for now. We'll see what happens. The last item on my uh, list of things I got for Christmas is a handbag. And I got this fairly recently. It was almost kind of an impulse buy, though it was on my wish list for 2022, but I jumped on it early because Bergdorf's actually had one, only one, on the website, and I got 10% cash back from Rakuten, which certainly helped. It almost brought it down to the price it was before the price increase, and it is the... <laughs> It is the Prada Re-Edition 2000, and I've been wanting this all year. It's perfect. It's just what I wanted. Um, I love it. It seems, I was very surprised at how small it seemed when I opened it, but then I put my things in there and I was like, this holds so much more than the uh, pochette accessoire from Louis Vuitton, and so, which I have since decided I'm selling to Fashion File because this just holds more and I haven't been reaching for the pochette accessoire at all. And I also have it in multicolor and I prefer that one anyway. So my first Prada bag, um, it does remind me of the styles from the 90s and I do remember that era though at that time I wasn't really buying luxury, but I do remember this bag and uh, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's simple, it's timeless, Obviously very lightweight. It holds more than you think. And um, it's got the black plain fabric interior. It's very simple. I actually like that this, um, you know, this fob is on here because it dresses it up a little bit. I can put the O case in there. And then I can put this. And I can put my phone, and I could probably put my keys if I had them with me. Zips right up, and it's perfect. I also wanted to mention, I almost forgot, um, <laughs> this top I'm wearing with these big sleeves. Um, I went on the real reel because I had a credit with them and I couldn't find any, I mean, I feel like the real reels, I could go on about them. I feel like their bags are extremely overpriced. And um, I don't know how they justify that, given the other, all the problems they have and how their photography is notoriously terrible. Um, but I went to their clothing section and I found all these beautiful tops and dresses for like 90% off. I mean, this is Alice and Olivia silk top. Um, I went and looked at what these things cost at like Nordstrom full retail, and it's usually like $250 for one of their blouses. And I got this for $40. And so I found like a few other tops too from uh, Tory Burch and um, another one from Alice and Olivia and one from like St. John all silk tops, all in great condition. I mean, I didn't see any problems with them and they were all 40 bucks. So that was nice. I really think this is so cute. Okay, so yeah, um, this is it. This was the bag I got for Christmas and I'm so happy that I got one because they can be hard to find, especially on the internet, and especially uh, with 10% off. So, I hope I didn't forget. I don't think I forgot anything. <laughs> I do have more videos coming up uh, in January, and I'm excited to see where my channel is going to go this year. Um, 
my birthday is in a few days, so there will be another video of what I got for my birthday. We'll find out what that is. I am one of those lucky people with a birthday that's right after Christmas. And uh, so, yeah, I've got other ideas as well. So please stick around. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a comment down below about uh, maybe what you got for Christmas or what you did for New Year's Eve. Uh, this year, my family and I are doing what we usually do, which is we stay home and we all make homemade pizza and we make little hats or crowns and then we uh, just like stay up as late as we can. <laughs> my kids are getting older, so it's easier for them to stay up until midnight, which is fun and uh, bring in the new year. So I am looking forward to the new year. I'm hoping that it brings better things for everyone and uh, I'm staying positive. I've got some goals I want to achieve and I'd love to hear what your plans are for the new year. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. It has grown a lot more than I thought it would <laughs> this year. Well, I've only been, I've only been here since August, but I had no idea what to expect and so I've really loved making friends here and I love reading your comments and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Happy New Year!